Father, can I ask you something about the Great War? Of course, Eric. What is it? I was wondering, were you afraid of being alone out there? <laughs> My son, I wasn't alone. For you see, I served in the Imperial Legion. And in the Legion, we consider each other brothers and sisters. For we're all out there doing the same thing. Fighting against the foes of the Empire to secure our homelands. To ensure that our families would have something to live for. I wasn't afraid for being alone, Eric, for I had my brothers and sisters in arms at my side. It was just a dream. Day dream. Those bandits really did put up a good fight. Surprise the sun's still up. I feel like I've been out for days, if not weeks. Well, in any case, I shouldn't stay around here anymore. I looked at what they had. All I found was this cloak. But. They had a group. They had each other's backs. What was it that Hela was it? The companions watch out for each other. Now we ought to get to haunted streams to collect that bounty, but Of what this taught me. But this taught me something. I've been on my own for... Since zero now. I thought coming back home would be... Easy. But with these bandits and the war... It pays to have someone watching your back. It pays to have a friend. The sun is going down. Before I head to your Vasco. Before I head to your Vasco. I better rest up for the night. Be a lot warmer and a lot happier with belly full of mead. <laughs> ah, boy, one guard on post at the gate. Hey, oh. you might want some detachment around back. Counter a bandit camp. Skooma smugglers, if you can believe it. I took care of them for you, so the people can rest easily now. It's easy as they can with a drug den behind their homes. <sighs> I can't tell that Secundo Musa. I forget what the two moons are called. I think the bigger one starts with an Elmo. I'll have to refresh my memory at some point. <sighs> Feels good to be back on White Run. Feels like I haven't been here for ages. <laughs> Even though I have. It's been forever since I've been here with mother and father. <laughs> Orman, just the man I wanted to see. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. <laughs> yeah, I tried to make whatever coin I can within the arms of the law. But I have your sword. 
I think, uh, it's a beautiful blade. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? <sighs> Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. I'd be most honored to carry on his legacy with that technique. And I did take all those bandits on myself. You were right to so after the companions or even the guard. I was very lucky to take them on. But I've been meaning to ask, you're not from Skyrim, are you? <laughs> no, friend, that I'm not. But I get along with your kind well enough. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. I was in High Rock a few months back. Beautiful province. But I must say I am partial to the cold of Skyrim. If there's anything else I can do for you, Armin, just let me know. I'll be happy to help. And I hope you and your wife get things all sorted out together. Take care, friend. Take care, friend. Danica? So, have you gotten Nethelbane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? <sighs> Sadly, I haven't. Uh, I've been preoccupied, if you can believe it. But as soon as I start making my way south, I will find it. But I've been wondering, uh, what is special about the Gilderglean? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elderglean resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Elderglean. Elderglean. Huh. And I do feel at ease when I'm in the presence of that tree. I might be because my mother was a priestess, kind. Or it might just be the thing of beauty that uh, I know what lies within. I will find Metal Boy, Danica. You have the good rest of your evening. Don't stay out too late. My one may be a safe city, but you never know. May Kinareth's winds blow you to fortune. And as you as well. <sighs> oh, drunk. It's not that light. Your Vasker is right there. Yeah, might as well. Your Vasker. The weed hall of the companions. Carry on the legacy of Yiskumo and his 500. I don't feel worthy going up these steps. I've been just a mercenary for so long. I've I have stories to tell. I've seen many things across Tamriel. I hope I am more. I hope I can prove myself to them. To prove my honor and worth is one of their own. Are those two at it again? I knew it. Just keep moving. Well. Throw your back into it, Dumba. Yeah. Ooh. Don't underestimate her. Come on, throw your backs into it. Get a Dora perfume. Come 
Come on, can woman, show them what we know it can do. Well, mate, they both have good sound. He's getting tired. Take him down. I'm going to enjoy you care killing like a you. Dunmer. I can't believe they're just letting this happen. Of course I get hungry. You're pathetic. Oh, sir. I'll see you burn. Man, they're both pulling up a good fight. I can already tell who's winning. Oh, I'm saying I can't tell who's winning. You think you stand a chance? I'm sort of hurt you. Good thing I moved. You're pathetic. Hey, watch the fire, you two. I'll see you burn. And watch the elder. <laughs> she will actually kill you. Good fight. Well fought, kinswoman. Put up a good fight, too, Dunbar. Whoa. How did I miss that one? How did I miss both of those white gamers? Oh. Hey, you're. You're from the farm. My brother Vilkas is a better talker than me. He should be around someplace. You have a brother? Well, I'll be sure to speak to him. I'm here about your proposition that you spoke about on the farm. But I'm... Are you certain I could join the companions? Codlack is the one who figures out who can be a companion. So talk to him. It's out of my hands. Codlack. And I've been out of Skyrim for a long time. Now I've heard the rumors of the companions. That you trace your lineage back to Eskrim or his 500. I'd like to know, who are you outside of those tales? The companions are my family. We fight so that other people don't have to. We bring honor and glory to ourselves and each other. A truly noble thing. To fight so others don't have to. Oh, I'll be sure to find your leader. Good luck. All right then. Very well. <clears throat> Ladies. Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. Well, I'll be sure to. I am too. I sure do show off the feats. That's a fine blade. My kind. It's, it's the famous axe. Shattered, but that's, that's the axe of Iskumo. Uthrad. Don't get blindsided, Eric. He came here for a conversation. 
Oh, that would distract you. This must be their kitchen. And how deep is this place? You have servant quarters. So that means the rest must have lived down here. Living quarters. Cozy. Oh, there she is. I might want to take a bath later. Ayla, kinswoman. Ayla, right? Uh, you remember me. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Um, I am quick on my feet, but my eyes are, uh, they get distracted easily. I tend to get tunnel visioned, focusing on the fight ahead and not around. Um, I came to hear about the offer you made some days ago about potentially joining your honorable guild. I spoke to the man from earlier, Farkas, about the companions. I want to hear from your perspective of who they are. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? And I have. Warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. If the coin is good enough. But for the other Farkas fellow spoke about the companions being a family. I see that the gentleman shared all across. He told me to speak to Kaldak. I guess he's at the other end of the hall. I'll be sure to have a talk to him. Have a good day, Ayala. All right, then. I don't see any other room. Well, I don't see. <sighs> Just focus, Eric. We ask what you've done. You've been traveling across Tamago. Now you've heard the stories of their honor and deeds. And you wish to prove yourself to them. By any means. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I ought to sure. speak. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Call of the blood. Hero, I don't mean to interrupt. I, uh... You must be here, Vilkus. You bear a strong resemblance to your brother. And you... must be Kodlak. I am Eric Alderson. I've been told to speak to you about joining the Companions. A stranger comes to our hall. Aye. Stranger. I hope not to be a stranger for long. I've been told to speak to you about joining the companions. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. <laughs> You're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Bill. Last I checked, we had some empty beds in Yorvaster for those with a fire burning in their hearts. <laughs> Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Uh. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. 
What matters is their heart. Car. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? I've I've traveled all across Tamriel, so I say I do have some skill with my axe, my shield. I even know a little bit of magic. But I'm a humbled man. I know that I still have much to learn. That's the spirit. Vilkis here will get started on that. Vilkis, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. Aye. Alright then. Lighting one of the higher ups. Very well. Excuse us. Uh. Show him this around quick. Just like all Merrick. It's just a sporing match. That's all. Seems your leader wants me to test myself against her brother. I hope this goes well. Vilkis. The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. All right. I'll try and make this quick. Just a few swings I can manage. There you go. What are you waiting for? Come on. Pretty good arm you have there. You too. You block well. No wonder you are higher up. Come on then. Not bad. Come on now. All right then. Not bad. Yeah. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my All sword. right then. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Very well. I'll do as I'm told. Senior. You blood. A whelp. I haven't called that a long, long time. You're... You're the great man. Famous smith of the Skyforge. Yep. Seems unlocked. Oh. I figured you'd be home in Ben. Well, it is a beautiful night. A good one is any to go and forge steel. I am Eric Alderson. I've been told to give the sword to you. A steel sword. What brings you here? Vilkas sent me with a sword, Yorland. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. I. I take it Vilkas always sends newcomers on. Errands. Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. <laughs> and don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. I, I've heard that. Uh, Kalak said uh, he was nobody's master. But 
Someone has to be in charge, though, right? Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Ysgrimor. Really? Podlak is the harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own, every woman her own. I understand. And I took it you're a, compan a companion also, or just acting as Sir Smith. Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, and I'm honored to serve them. My name is Yorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge, best steel in all of Skyrim, all of Tamriel. I've heard your name before. Your school is legendary, Yorlin, and I'm honored to be in your mere presence. I used to take up smithing once. Never got too far with it, but I hope to learn from the companions and to learn from you as well. To better prove myself in all ways that I can. But it's going late and I'll need to be going now. I have a favor to ask. Of course. What is it? I've been working on a shield for Aela. My wife is in mourning and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aela for me. Of course. I'll happily lend a hand. You go and turn to your wife. That's a good man. I'll be seeing you, Aeorlin. Aeorla. Shion, alright. Aeorlin, great man. I'm already meeting a lot of famous people already. <laughs> you think they have a few lanterns out here? Uh, anyway. Lucas. You're a talkative one, aren't you? <laughs> I... I hope that's not a bad thing. That was a good fight, and I hope to spar with you again sometime. I think I can learn much from you, and your brother. I've asked this of... him and Ariel. I was wondering... Who are the companions to you? You'll hear some of the brighter faces around here talk about honor and glory. I've got nothing against it, but for me, the promise of coin is what feeds my blade. Wherever someone in Skyrim doesn't feel up to defending their own honor, we'll take up their burden. Or price, of course. Everyone has a reason for joining. I suppose. Well, seek out for honor, others coin. I guess why I'm hoping to join is a purpose. I haven't had one for a very long time. <clears throat> what? Why did you join the companions? To hear Farkas tell it, our father raised us here as happy pups, running around, biting knees. <laughs> I love my brother. But his brains are not his strong suit. So we you're the smart one of the two. Whether he was our father or not, I don't care. You're he good. left to fight in the Great War and never came back. So he's not my problem anymore. We've been here as long as either of us can remember, though. So try to show some respect. Of course. And um, you have my condolences about. Jorgen, my father, fought the Great War as well. I was actually born a year before the war broke out. If you believe the old wise tales, a man born before war is destined to die in one. I guess you could say we're both soldier sons. But I'll let you go. Probably need some rest, and I as well. But first, I have to speak to Ayala. Mm -hmm. I'll be seeing you. A man born 
before war is destined to die in war. I wonder if that holds any weight for me at all. Yeah. Pull yourself together, Eric. We got a shield to deliver. And then a nice warm bath. Ah, cool cup of mead as well. Let's see. Guess I'll just have to go hunting for her scarlet luck again. So please, so if his room's there. Oh. Worried one of them is going to take your place? Some of them might try, but that's not what I'm worried about. What then? That they might get themselves killed. By you? They should be so lucky. Well then. Um. Greetings. Ayla. Uh, I've been sent here by Aeorlin. To deliver your shield. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. I'll be sure to prepare my feet and eyes for that day, but... I have your shield. Aeorlin sent me. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Are you new here? I am. Um, this is the wealth that Vilkis mentioned. Or it's always spreading. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. <laughs> Don't let Vilkis. Uh, I wouldn't that. boast that. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? Well, from what I gathered, he has a very strong arm. And his handling of the shield was just as impressive. I don't think I can handle him in a true fight. But I'm not one for boasting either. Ah, a man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Iskramor himself Farkas. wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. Did you call I'll me? take my. Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the wealth sleep. New blood? Oh, hello. I'm Farkas. Come, follow me. Where are you? His eyes for brains. You have a good night, Ayla. Ayla like to tease me, but they're good people. <laughs> they challenge us to be our best. And that's what I've been told. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. Well. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. Life's always rough. But I hope to stay as long as I can. You having trouble there? Nope. The quarters are All up here. Right Just even. pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Tilma will keep the place clean. She always has. All right. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. Thank you. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, there's some trouble in East March. Farmers get in trouble by some bad types who built up a stronghold in the area. East March. What kind of trouble? Nothing but a bunch of lonely bandits. Cowards who will take little effort. Can you point me on map? Trader's post. That's... I'll clear the place out. Excellent. Show them no mercy. I tend to show none. First... I'll get some rest. How down in the morning? I still have that bandit leader to take care of. Tests just keep piling on and on. So I'll just pick a bed. Hey. Sorry, you could mount here. Oh. Why are you so up, Dunma? I never thought they would actually let me join the companions. But now it looks like they're letting anyone in these days. <laughs> well, Fark is, did say he's excited to see new blood. And. If there's beds need filling, I'll try my 
parts to keep them full. But why did you join the companions? I saw your fights earlier, and you had a very strong goal and kept yourself up well against the kinswoman. My, my kinswoman. So why did you join? Fortune and glory, friend. Fortune and glory. Simple. I understand that. I can get behind that. Oh. Safe travels. And to you. I'm gonna grab me a bite to eat then. Head to bed. Got a busy day tomorrow. If you're, you don't mind, I'll sit down here. Fortune and glory. Fortune and glory. To find my place. 